Tactical urbanism is a way of making a change happen in a city in a directly sort of bottom-up way and is less to do usually with formal planning processes. So it's really opportunistic. It's taking advantage of a space and a possibility within it and trying to make it happen as quickly as possible. It's very powerful for demonstrating what change is possible one way or another. The Street Moves project is kind of a, trying to find a balancing act between this kind of tactical urbanism and a more strategic response. What we're trying to do is understand how would we flip all of the streets in Sweden to be healthy, sustainable, vibrant places, full of life, uh, different types of mobility, all the kinds of different applications, if you like, that we can run on that old hardware that is the street. So we're trying to diversify that, understand how people can shape it themselves and be part of that in a far more participative way. What we have done is actually, we call it the urban boardwalk. We have got inspiration from parklets. I saw it first in San Francisco. And from there we have thought how we can use that kind of idea and get out on, on streets in Sweden. We have uh, tried different kind of solutions, e-scooter, parking racks and uh, bike parking and benches. And then we will also have planters to see more greenery on the streets. We have also thought about uh, solutions for delivery boxes to put out on the streets, carpool solutions, electric charging for cars. And uh, we are looking into the social uh, interaction between people. We're looking into culture and implementing more of a vibrant street life. So we try to reflect on those different functions that the street should be and what kind of applications we can make to encourage that. We built all of these streets in the 20s or the 30s or the 60s or the 70s and we haven't really evolved them. So they're still baked around an idea of car ownership from the 1980s really, dominating an environment now which is full of bikes and walking and scooters and e-bikes and cargo bikes and all kinds of other things as well. So we need to set those things up just as a process of change. And that means a different kind of process. It means continual engagement, continual participation. The only way to do that is to start building the street in a more adaptive way. So if you think about those small elements there as kind of bits of um, jigsaw pieces or Lego or Ikea, you know, choose your own metaphor. But it's something that you can begin to hack and evolve over time and then say, OK, this was a garden for a while. That's not working out. Now it needs to be half garden plus parking space or charge point plus bike rack. You know, that's a certain kind of design in itself, which is designed to change. <laughs>